Have you ever thought about leaving the city life and just buying a whole lot of land? Well, us too. So we thought we would try it out for a week and bring you along with us. So welcome to rural Scotland. This week, we're in Kirkmichael, Scotland. And besides rural life, Kirkmichael is a part of the Cataran Trail and home to many incredible Scottish artisans. We recommend having a stop through to get a taste of beautiful rural life, whether it's visiting the local artist or walking the scenic trails. We're house sitting, so we have some friends to show us around. Meet Murphy, Poppy, and four very stubborn chickens. Ginger. Truffle. Fanny. And girl. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful sunny day now, and so the first thing we do in the morning is that. <laughs> Stretch and take this big guy on a walk. Murph. <laughs> yeah. Our host let us borrow boots, which is apparently a theme for me. <laughs> so they gave me these boots. You want to take two? She literally gave me the boots off of her feet. The fall is coming, I can feel it. So this has to be our favorite part of rural life, the walks. I think even if we didn't have this guy, <laughs> we would still soak in these walks because the views are absolutely unbeatable, could never get tired of it. I do feel like just an inner calm, like a complete inner calm. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello. I swear the sheep stare at us until we start talking to them. And then they turn their butts towards us. <laughs> they, they know they're about to be on camera. <sighs> we did check our iPhone app the other day and we're averaging like 14,000 to 20,000 steps every day. And it's all uphill. It's all uphill. All right, come check this out. So we're going to take you off of the main road and off to a little hidden path here that a forager showed us the other day on where we can find bolit mushrooms. All right, so come on. Beautiful, isn't it? I feel like it's places like this that you realize how fairy tales and myths were written of like, trolls hiding in forests and mythical creatures. It just feels so magical back here. This looks like a fairy tale. <laughs> or like Toad and Mario. <laughs> So that's not the mushroom we found, but I have just spotted one. I'm not sure if you can eat this red spotted one, but you can eat this one. That is an orange birch bullet or something along those lines. <laughs> so you actually have to cut it out of the ground. You don't just pull it up and out of the ground. That is proper foraging. Mushrooms are actually fascinating living organisms. There's an excellent documentary on Netflix all about how they communicate underground together. What? We could probably have a dog reality TV show here 
because all of the dogs have their own personality and every dog has a best friend and an arch nemesis here. And we just heard Murphy's arch nemesis. So we have got to get out of the area. <laughs> Hi there. Best friend. <laughs> Hello. You really never know what kind of creatures you're gonna run into out here. I mean, of course, you've got the pigs, the chickens, the sheep everywhere, dogs. We saw like 20 deer on a walk. I've never yeah. seen so many deer in one spot. I mean, yeah. we lived in Kentucky. We have deer. I've never seen that many deer in one spot. Tons of little bunny rabbits everywhere. And then the elusive red squirrel, which... <laughs> we've heard is everywhere, but we have not seen. <laughs> as you remember from our Formby Beach video. I keep making these walls like a thousand years old and then Andrew keeps, <laughs> Andrew keeps telling me it was probably built last year. <laughs> No, some of these walls have definitely are from like the 1500s, which was incredible because of course nothing in America is that old. Um, however, some of them have definitely been repaired. <laughs> Hey babe, are those tree faces cool or creepy? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Can anyone in the comments confirm what they are? My least favorite part also leads to my favorite part. <laughs> my least favorite part is how far you are from a grocery store. I've just, I've always lived in walking distance of a grocery store, so I've never had to like buy food that lasts for like multiple weeks at a time. But my favorite part is all of the fresh food. I mean, the other day we traded chicken's eggs for vegetables. So we had fresh farm vegetables to eat for lunch and dinner. It was amazing. And every single day we have fresh eggs, which is incredible. And the neighbor on the other side is a beekeeper, honey. So we've gotten into this uh, I think it's a healthy habit of eating toast with some honey, some cinnamon, and some banana. Amazing. Toast cheers. I think that the two things that are like our least favorite part of rural living, so like the spiders and then like how far it is to get food, I feel like those are two things you could very easily get used to. And I really don't mind the spiders, like we have spider webs all around the door. Spiders are you know, a good thing to have around. It's just walking through the spider webs and the spiders being on me, on my face <laughs> specifically. <laughs> did you walk through a spider web? That's something that I don't know if I'll ever get used to. <laughs> I think the more that you relax, <laughs> just, just the more that you relax, the more that they'll be relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> relax. Just relax. <laughs> That's the opposite of relax. I cannot. Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> That's really his honey. It is animal duty. So we have to feed the dog, feed the cat, and take care of the chickens. Hi girls. Hi. I really never thought that I would be doing this. Like, this isn't the direction I thought my life would be going in, but I love it. I'm not 100% really good at it yet. Can you open this?
So this is the not so glamorous part of farming, and that is picking up chicken poop. In the chicken coop we go. All right, so good news is that we have two eggs. Bad news is, is that there is a ton of crap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The eggs in the ah. poop. The eggs in the poop. Excuse me, girls. Take flight. All right, the chores are never ending in rural life. That's one thing that's for sure. It's belly rub time. Important chore. <laughs> then we have to chop some firewood so that we can stay warm tonight <laughs> and throw some laundry on while it's nice and sunny so that our clothes dry. So let's make it happen. So manly. Show us how it's done. All right. Your turn. Just make sure you don't swing down towards your feet. That's a good try. And that is how you split one. <laughs> All right, should have enough wood for the night. Life is a little slower paced here. We spend as much time as possible outside, soaking in the rawness of life, being blown away by the simple moments. Remembering this connection to the land is really how we're meant to live. And so we walk and run and play. <laughs> <laughs> And we try to connect the daily moments with this reminder. Good news is in rural Scotland, there is a high speed Wi-Fi, So it is that time of day, evening for us where we get some work done. Most of our clients are based in the States. So we usually live our life in the morning, do some work in the evening. So we're gonna get some work done before dinner. It's my favorite part of the day. <laughs> what am I going to do with this corn? You may ask. I'll show you. Yay! Here they come! Wow! <laughs> Did you see that one run? Your sister is always left behind and I want her to get some food. Look what I got! <laughs> they just go crazy. They love it. Who knew chickens like treats so much? Enjoy everyone! What did they do to you the other day when you had the corn tin? They pecked me. Like they like started pecking at my and trying to bite my fingers. <laughs> I was out of corn. I'd given it all the corn that I had. <laughs> they were attacking me. <laughs> Who knew chickens were so vicious? <laughs> I stepped in poop. <laughs> we need to clean my shoes. Uh, Just part of farm life. <laughs> you already changed the whole What'd you socket. forget? Yeah. How are we gonna clean my shoe? Wipe it off in the grass. Ugh. Shouldn't have gone in there. Stubborn chicken. Just wanted to give her a treat. No, I'm 
not about to read you a bedtime story, but I am going to show you here how we heat the house, and that is through the Dutch oven. Open this up here, and put some kindling down here in the bottom, and then of course we'll throw a log there on the fire. And then this fan on top is actually going to, once it heats up, the heat goes over the glass, up to the fan, and then circulates and warms up the entire house. All right, so we've showed you the good, the bad, the weird, the ugly <laughs> of royal living. Honestly, after everything said and done, we have absolutely fallen in love with this kind of lifestyle. Tell us in the comments, would you do rural living? We'd love to hear rural life. Is it city life for you? Let us know. And one of our final favorite parts of rural living is nighttime because just listen to how silent this is. It's kind of like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> what do you think? I think that I've never seen so many stars and that I feel like you're expecting a scary story from me right now. <laughs>